Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for 200 subscribers, guys. I can't believe how fast it took off. We went from 50 to 200, 230 in a matter of a week. So it was awesome. So let's keep that going. As you guys saw in the thumbnail, my little teaser, I am shooting the brand new Matthews V3 for this year. We're going to go pick up Brant. And we're going to head up to the mountain. We're going to go do our first 3D shoot with brand new Matthews V3 and see how well I did it putting my sight tape together. So let's get to it, guys. All right, guys. Today we're out at the Beehive Bowman. We're going to start shooting some 3D today and see if we can get ourselves a little bit more dialed in for tack. You got any thoughts, Brant? I'm just trying to ready to get some more, fling some more downrange. Let's get started, guys. There's target number one. Down there through the opening. Alright, we're at 44. Yeah, a little back. Yeah. So these are results from target one, 44 yards. Scott's just outside the 11. Target two. 40 yards. A good shot. Maybe just a touch low, but it looks like it's a good kill shot. So. Scott, target two, 40 yards. That didn't scare me. It's pretty good. I like that shot. Let's go get it. Yeah. Not bad, guys. You. Here's your arrows. Target three, across the way, 57 yards. Over. All right. Maybe kind of between the shoulder and the kill zone. Well, yeah. We're both low on that one. 46 yards. 46. A little low again. That's low. Right behind his front leg. That's a kill shot. Is this five? And this is target five. 60, straight up. Not bad. Right in the heart. Right in his left chesticle. Right next to yours. Nice. You want to tell everybody how Daddy and Uncle Brant did? This is my dad. Is Uncle Brant. <laughs> right. All right. We got target number six. Ow! It's at 68 yards. 60. Oh, just bottom side of the ten ring, I think. Just, just the back side of the cutout. Good height, though. Scott's is there on the right. He said I missed left. We've got a little tiny window, but it's low. So I think we're gonna go down to one knee, get a range, and then we'll uh, see if we can fling one from the knee, practice that shot. 23. So I got 23. And my roller goes, only goes as low as 40. But I have a 30 and a 20 pin, so I'm gonna have to gap my pins. Like, maybe just a touch low, but going up hill, trying to keep it below the branches. But I felt pretty good about it. Super low. It's a really short shot, but you know they made sure they put stuff in your way. So bullseye, got that sucker. So Scott's showing off for us. He's got about as close to center as you can get. Just outside the ten. First 11 of the day. That's always nice. Show off. <laughs> <laughs> 23 yards. Yeah, for 23 yards, yeah. I don't remember what target we're on now. Eight, something like that. Okay. 28. So yeah, right through the trees here. 28 yards, a little bit of wind. The brush in front of it's kind of blowing back and forth. So it's gonna make it tricky. Again, right between the 20 and 30 pin, so we're just gonna gap it, give it our best shot. 
Sounded good. I think just a little bit below the 10, but I think it's in there solid. So since it's only two yards off 30, my pins are so close anyways, I'm just gonna put my 30 pin on it. I think I got the 10. Right. Me and Scott's shots here. Scott's heating up, got another 11. And I'm just outside of the 10, starting to heat up with his new bow. He's kind of a jerk. Okay, I got 61. Heard foam. I think a little left. I'm not sure where it dropped in. It kind of went through the shade there, so I'm not sure exactly where it hit. We'll see when we get up there. I hear foam. Right in the middle. We'll see if Yogi survived here. See? Scott shot him right in the middle. I got him in the bottom, right in the belly. That's what he gets for stealing my food. Looks like you can't see this one unless you're standing in this exact spot. See how far it is. I'm gonna go with 64. Might have shot over the top of him, I don't know. <laughs> Do you need a provisional? So here's Scott's mulligan. Antlers are sticking out. But then the bush comes down and you have his kill zone. But his head's all gone, you can see antlers up behind the bush in front. His Her antlers shook, I hit him. Nice. <laughs> Scott got the leg twice, both sides of it, the yeah. front. And then I'm just, just outside of the 10. But good solid shot, I feel good about that. So. All right guys, just got back from shooting with Brant and um, it was fun. Got the kids out to shoot a little bit and I love the feel of this bow. I absolutely love the feel of this bow. There's obviously still some work that needs to be done on my part. It's not the bow at all. The bow feels great. The bow shoots great. Just need to get more practice in this season for sure. We need to get dialed in because we got tack coming up here in less than a month. So we're going to have that video coming out hopefully at the start of August before the deer hunt comes out. And then guys keep looking forward to the new content. We're going to be doing shooting videos. We're going to got the tack video. We got our mule deer hunt coming up here in August. Um, we put in for some elk tags, so we're probably going to have some elk tags this year. So it's going to keep coming, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and we'll catch you next time.